Hi, my name is Dr. Nitin and today I am going to discuss how to assess entertainment response in atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia that is AVNRT. This is the EP trace of a patient who is in tachycardia. We have placed various EP catheters inside his heart. On this trace you can see these four channels are from surface ECG. Then we have RF catheter, RF distal and RF proximal. Then we have his bundle catheter. This is his bundle distal and his bundle proximal. Then we have CS catheter. CS is decapolar catheter. So we have more traces. This patient is having a narrow complex tachycardia. And the tachycardia cycle length here is 342 milliseconds. To see the entertainment response, we do ventricular overdrive pacing. It means that we pace from right ventricle catheter at a pacing cycle length which is 10 to 30 milliseconds less than the tachycardia cycle length. Here the patient's tachycardia cycle length was 340 milliseconds. And we are pacing from RF catheter which has been placed inside right ventricle. The pacing cycle length here is 320 milliseconds which is 20 milliseconds less than the tachycardia cycle length. Once we start pacing from right ventricle the morphology of the QRS changes until it becomes fully captured. Once we are sure that ventricle is being captured then we stop pacing to see the response of entrainment. Before seeing the response of entrainment, there are some conditions which should be fulfilled. First of all, capture of the ventricle should be ensured by the pacing stimulus. Second condition is there should be advancement of A waves. It means that A interval should be equivalent to pacing cycle length. And third condition is that when we stop pacing, tachycardia should continue. Here we can see that ventricle is being fully captured by the pacing stimulus. As we can see this widening of QRS at the time of pacing compared to native tachycardia where QRS morphology or QRS width is narrow. Advancement of A waves can be assessed by measuring A interval. The A interval and pacing cycle length both are 320 milliseconds. It means advancement of A waves has occurred and in other words tachycardia has been reset. The third condition was that tachycardia should continue once we stop pacing. So this is the last pacing stimuli. After that the tachycardia continues. Since all the three conditions of entrainment are fulfilled, we can go ahead with assessment of entrainment. To assess the entrainment, we look at three things. First is type of response when we stop pacing. Second is the difference of post pacing interval and tachycardia cycle length. And third is stimulus to A minus VA interval. To assess type of response, once we stop pacing, then we look at various waves. Once we stop pacing, there is a V wave which is followed by A wave and there is appearance of V wave. So this response is called VAV response. This VAV response is also called as VAHV response when we are able to see a small H just before the V wave. Based on this type of response, we can differentiate between various narrow complex tachycardias. VAV or VAHV response is seen in cases of AVNRT or AVRT. Whereas VAAV or VAAHV response is seen in cases of atrial tachycardia. Sometimes 
we may see pseudo VA AV response which is seen in cases of atypical AVNRT or slowly conducting retrograde accessory pathways. Here the type of response is VAV and this VAV response goes in favor of either AVNRT or AVRT and it excludes atrial tachycardia. Then we move ahead with the measurement of post pacing interval. The post pacing interval is measured in the same electrode in which we are giving pacing stimuli. Here we are pacing from RF distal electrode, so we are going to measure post pacing interval in this electrode only. The post pacing interval is measured from the last pacing stimulus to first spontaneous V wave. Here the post pacing interval is 560 milliseconds. Then we reconfirm tachycardia cycle length. We have stopped pacing here and this is native tachycardia going on. The tachycardia cycle length is still same 340 milliseconds. Then we look at this difference between post pacing interval and tachycardia cycle length. The difference between post pacing interval and tachycardia cycle length here is 220 milliseconds. Based on this difference between post pacing interval and tachycardia cycle length, we can differentiate between AVNRT and AVRT. When this difference is more than equal to 115 milliseconds, it goes in favor of atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia that is AVNRT. When this difference is less than 115 milliseconds, it goes in favor of AVRT that is atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia. In this case, the difference between post pacing interval and tachycardia cycle length is more than 115 milliseconds, hence it goes in favor of AVNRT and it excludes AVRT. Then we measure SA minus VA interval. SA is stimulus to A interval, it is measured during pacing. SA is measured during pacing. So this is the stimulus till the appearance of A wave. This interval is called SA interval. It can be measured in on any of the lead where A wave is prominent. In the same channel we have to measure VA interval. Here the VA interval is 38 milliseconds. So the difference between SA and VA interval is 134 milliseconds. Based on this difference between SA and VA, we can differentiate between AV and RT and AVRT. When this difference is more than 85 milliseconds, it goes in favor of AV and RT. When this difference is less than 85 milliseconds, then it goes in favor of AVRT. In our case, this difference is 134 milliseconds. Stimulus to A minus V to A is more than 85 milliseconds, hence it goes in favor of AVNRT and this excludes AVRT. So based on the entrainment in this case, we have VAV response which goes in favor of AVNRT or AVRT and it excludes atrial tachycardia. Post pacing interval minus tachycardia cycle length is more than 115 milliseconds and it goes in favor of AVNRT and it excludes AVRT. Similarly, the difference between SA and VA interval is more than 85 milliseconds and it also goes in favor of AVNRT. So based on the entertainment response, the final diagnosis in our case is AVNRT that is atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.